Hi guys and welcome to the training which shows you how to extract all the live links uh, from an article directory website. This is an advanced tutorial, it's going to show you how to create a loop which uh, goes into an article directory website and extracts all the links that have been published. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a login step. So I'm going to tell it to navigate to my.easyandarticles.com to log in. Uh, put in the user ID and the password here and then press the sign in button So let's run these Now that we've logged in I'm just going to close this um, And I'm going to wait for this piece of text Okay now after logging in normally we would uh, go about submitting an article uh, by clicking this link and then doing a whole bunch of things after clicking the link. Um, but for this example, I'm not actually going to automate the actual article submission. That should be a piece of cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a bunch of these uh, random click steps just to show you that this portion is where you would go about and actually submit the article. But after logging in, what we want to do is we want to add a check if condition to say if the user has chosen to check the live links, then jump to a certain step. So in this case, I'm just going to type in step number 99. And then I'm going to move this here. So after logging in, and it finds this piece of text, recent achievements, it's going to check to see what the user has actually chosen to do. Now, the choice of what to do is coming from here. The user can say post articles and press the start button, and then SCNUC is instructed to go and post the articles. And, or the user can say check the live links instead. So. If the user had chosen to post the articles, all it would do is it would skip this check and it would continue with actually posting the article and then we would have a mark finish step over here. But if the user is actually chosen to check the live links, then it would go to the, the live links page. So this check, uh, this check step would jump to uh, a step which would take you to the list of live links. So this is... Uh, the live links page. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, this is the URL. I'm going to add a navigate step after the mark finish step. So everything from here to here is going to happen if the user chooses to post the article. But if the choose, user chooses to uh, check the live links, it's going to uh, skip all the steps after step number 10. And it's, we'll, let's tell it to jump to step number 12 uh, to just check the live links. So let's run the step. Now let's wait for this piece of text listed below. Okay. Now we have to figure out how to get the URL of every single one of these live links. So let's click this button because none of these things are clickable. Uh, so let's click this. It says view on easyinarticles.com. So let's select this and let's go add element clip. Over here we see the actual HTML says preview this on easyinarticles.com and then it has the actual uh, article URL after it. Um, now all we need to do is put a wildcard here and this is going to allow us to search for all the links on the page that, um, that link to the actual URLs. So because we don't want to actually click this link, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this to the clipboard and I'm going to add, a, I'm going to add this step. I'm going to say assign to variable. So it's put a wildcard here again. So what it's going to do is it's going to look for uh, the first element that matches this and assign the href, which is the actual link, to the variable called article link and then what we're going to do is we're going to simply say add URL and then over here we're going to type an article link so this step is going to extract the variable uh, it, this step is going to extract the URL and this step is actually going to add that URL to the URL list but now how do we go about adding the rest of the URLs uh, every single time you call this find item step, it's just going to keep finding the same item, uh, the same element on the page. So how do we find the next element? So what we have to do is we have to change 
the element that it just found into something that won't be recognized the next time this find item step is called. So let's do something like set the element value. Let's set the, what we could do is we could change the title. We could change the title to blah. So because this thing is looking for this exact title, if we change the title to blah, the next time it uh, tries to find the element, it's not gonna find that exact element, it's gonna find the next element that has not yet been modified. Um, but instead of changing the title, I'm gonna show you another trick. Uh, what you can do is ch change the outer HTML to a blank value. When you change the outer HTML to a blank value, what that actually does is it actually hides that element from the page. So it first extracts the URL, adds it to the URL list, then hides that element, and then let's add a jump to step that's gonna go and find the next element. All right, so uh, now it's gonna jump back here to find the next element. Now this loop is gonna keep on continuing uh, until something puts an end to it. So to put an end to it, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add another uh, condition. We're gonna have to add um, another jump to condition uh, if these words are found. View on easing articles Let's put step number nine in order. So once it uh, assigns the URL of the first link uh, and adds it to a URL list, the second thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make this link invisible. So that uh, by setting the outer HTML to a blank value. So that the next time that this jump to condition gets back here, gets back here, is gonna find the next link. And then what we wanna do is we wanna say, if none of these, uh, none of these links exist, or actually instead of doing this, what we should do is we should say only jump to step number 14 if you can find another link uh, to extract. <coughs> So it, if it finds this uh, title is equal to preview this article, if it finds that on the page, it's gonna jump to step, step number 14 to extract the next uh, link. If it doesn't find it, it's just gonna continue to the next step, which is gonna be marked finished. Now, it's not going to find it um, after all the links have been extracted because we're changing the outer HTML to a blank value. And this title is inside the outer HTML so anytime we change the outer HTML to, the blank, to a blank value, what it's gonna do is it's gonna erase this whole tag. The whole tag is gonna be erased. Uh, so it's not gonna find this piece of text again. So I hope that wasn't too complicated to understand, but this is a, an advanced topic. Um, so if you are watching this video, I would hope that you have a certain idea of uh, uh, HTML code. All right, so let's run it from step number 10, which should uh, make it jump to step number 12. Let's press play. Okay, so now it's done three URLs. So it's gonna do 10 of these, I believe. There we go. So it extracted all the URLs and then it went to mark finished. Uh, let's actually go into the URL list. And these are all our URLs right here. This anchor text, it uh, retrieves from uh, right here, the title. Or you could type in an output URL anchor text if you'd like to vary the anchor text each time. Um, or you can simply go edit anchor and then remove that anchor text. Uh, but the important thing is that we have all our, uh, all our URLs extracted and saved to the URL list now. 